Coming up on MCTV this week, we take a look at Greer Hall rededication and recap the Improv Christmas Show. This week starts now. Welcome to MCTV This Week. For Tate Heibel, I'm Denzel Johnson. One of the oldest residential buildings on campus is finally ready to be reopened. Yesterday, Greer Hall was rededicated after less than a year of renovations. The ribbon cutting officially reopened this 25,000 square foot dorm that can house up to 90 students. This facility, originally built in 1940, now includes private bathrooms, new furniture, and an elevator while preserving the residence hall historic character. Greer head resident, resident assistants, and former residents will be moving in before break, and other students will officially start living in the building next semester. Last Saturday, students improvised some holiday cheer. The final improv show of the semester was Christmas themed and kicked off some of the audience participation before getting into more skits. This included skits about paleontology and Christmas movies. The show wrapped up with a skit about one of the audience members' life. The team is looking for new members and you can see about trying out for the team by messaging the president, Declan Shannon, or the vice president, I just president, would like Richard. to say everyone should try improv. It's a lot of fun. You don't have to be super funny to do it, and you get a lot of great skills that you can use in any profession, really. So, Improv's team's next show is a short segment at the APO Showcase tomorrow night. Student artists showed off their best at the annual Jurt Student Art Exhibit. At the reception on Friday the 16th, different student art shows, such as photos, paintings, sculptures, drawings, and hand-built ceramics were judged. Among the winners was Emily Fisher, who received the award for best um, It focuses on my house. I actually took that um, a air vent, a register, um, in my house. I did the pic picture for a um, class project titled Something and Nothing, and so I was just crawling around my house, and I saw that, and I was like, oh, the colors in that would look really, really cool, um, so I captured that. This and other artworks are on display in the Lynn G. Everett Gallery of the Hughes Library. On Friday, November 30th, students kicked off holiday celebrations at a Cider with Classics event. During the event, students were invited to drink cider and decorate cookies while learning about Sarstalia, a Roman festival that was celebrated in December. Students also learned a little bit about Latin and sang Christmas carols in language along with classic music. The purpose of this event is to share the classics with people who do, don't usually take classes or don't know what we're about. It is a fun get-together of classics and non-classics people to have fun and share the classics. The next Cider with Classics event will be held in February in celebration of Valentine's Day. Although, is it a, although it is a busy time of the year, all of the music groups at Monmouth spread holiday cheer. On Saturday, the Doll Chapel was filled with Christmas cheers as the Monmouth Concert Choir, Chamber Choir, Chorale, Wind Ensemble, Chamber Orchestra, and the Concert Band would take the stage for Christmas at Monmouth. Poetry, songs, and Bible verses were read and filled in the Doll Chapel. As part of this post-baccalaureate fellowship, Thomas Burkhead conducted There Is No Rose. The evening ended with all the music groups of Monmouth would share the stage with Silent Night as they lit candles and closed the show. Of course it's Christmas, it's December 1st, but it's getting people in the Christmas season. So they love the music and they're a little bit into the Christmas season and uh, getting, getting inspired, getting motivated to, for the holidays. For more information on up and coming concerts at Monmouth, check out the campus calendar on the college website. Taking a look at some events on campus this week. This evening, Mindful Monmouth and the College Counseling Services host a self-care fair in the lower level of Stockdale at 6 p.m. Friday, there is the Meaning of Life lunch in the Weeks House living room at noon. And on Monday, in the Lynn G. Everett Gallery, an art reception titled Collaborations take place at 3. Coming up after the break, we take a look at men's basketball thriller game against Mac Murray.
Fighting Scots Women's Basketball hosted Eureka College for their home opener. Monmouth looking to move to 3-0 on the young season. Nice ball movement here. Giovanna Arnellis finds Shane Smith rolling to the basket. She lays it up and it rolls around and finally falls in as the Scots take an early lead. Later, Carly Turnbull drives and kicks the ball out to an open Becca Gals who connects on the deep ball for a big three-point shot. And in the second quarter, Jordan Kenai puts up a shot in the post. It's no good, but Trey Warner comes scooping in for the rebound and falls up with a putback as Monmouth rolls in route to an 81-54 win over the Red Devils. The Scots look to continue their perfect season thus far as they look for win number eight on the season as they travel to Illinois College for tonight's matchup. Men's varsity basketball hosted uh, McMurray College before Thanksgiving break. The Scots were wasting no time with a 6-0 run. Here, DJ Swift hands off to Jay Richardson, and he goes up for a contested layup for two points. The Highlanders would turn the tempo up even more with a quick jumper here by Connor Vincent. Fast break off the miss by Carius. Blake Drew makes the pass to Wade Fox, draining this three-pointer here in the corner. The Fighting Scots finding a little heat of their own off the fast break. Schroeder with the bounce pass to Devin Yoakum, converting in the paint for the score. The score is now McMurray 67 to 65. Will Carries makes a big play with a jump with a pump fake to a layup, drawing the foul. Carries would make Carries would make the uh, free throw to take a slim one point lead. But there's still a chance for the Highlanders as they inbound the ball, but it's no good as the Scots win 68 to 67. I thought some guys came in off the bench and really gave us a lift and, and brought some energy to the floor and, and uh, we started coming up with um, you know, some, offense, <coughs> excuse me, some offensive rebounds. We got to the loose balls and, and then that created some opportunities for us and you know, brought a little juice to that end for us. The men's team is also on the road tonight as they face off against St. Norbert College. That's it for sports. Here's the rest of the scores from the week. TV this week. I'm Ted Heipel. Make sure to tune next time for another great edition of MCTV This Week. And I'm Denzel Johnson. You can also watch us on the web at monmouthcollege.edu slash MCTV This Week. See you next semester.